What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over reporting and optimization for your Facebook advertisements, right? So I'm in Ads Manager here. Um, I'm gonna show you all of the useful metrics that you should look at when looking at your advertisement campaigns, making sure that performance is really good, right? And what you should be looking for. So I'm in one of our clients' um, Ads Managers. And so we're just going to go over these three specific ads that he has running here. Um, and so essentially what I want you to do is choose these three campaigns or choose the ad campaign that you want to look at and then go directly to ads. And then from here, what I want you to do is click on columns and click on performance and clicks. So there are, for different objectives, there are things that you want to look at, right? So if you're doing an engagement ad, you wanna do one of these. If you're doing a video views objective, then you'll wanna do video engagement. But for most other things, you'll wanna just look at performance and clicks here, and that should give you the majority of what we want. So obviously, over here, you've got the result that you're looking for, right? So for these two, it's leads, this is using a lead form, this is using conversions, so a landing page, and this is using straight to messenger. Uh, and then the next thing you wanna look at is cost per result. So another thing to look at over here on the right-hand side is the date range that we're looking at, right? So we're doing lifetime. Uh, you can do seven days, you can do a, an updated period, um, whatever you want. You can do 15 days, 16 days, whatever you want, right? Um, so the, those are the two things that you will probably be looking at the most is how many leads you're getting, um, what your cost per lead is, and then total amount spent. That's like what every, all of our clients look at. A couple other things that you want to look at is um, you do want to look at your frequency. Frequency is the amount of people that you're reaching, right? So uh, on this ad, we're reaching a ton of people. This is actually a retargeting ad. Um, this is you know 2.1 so essentially your leads are seeing your advertisements twice uh, for retargeting purposes we want them to see that as much as possible because we want to kind of create a brand right um, and what what's really important with frequency is a seven day period so over a seven day period what does that look like right this person is only seeing it 1.27 times that's okay with us uh, in a seven day period, these people are seeing it twice. That's great, that's a retargeting ad for us. Uh, we like that. So we're gonna go back to Lifetime just to look at uh, all the other analytics. So relevancy score, that's something that uh, you'll wanna look at. Uh, anything greater than six is doing pretty good. Anything eight and above is doing pretty great. And then impressions, that's the total amount of people that you are going to see or who are going to see your ad. Cost or CPMs cost for a thousand impressions. Um, obviously that is cost for a thousand people. Uh, a good number is right around $25 and under. Uh, in real estate, we can get that down to oftentimes a little bit less, right? So that's why those numbers are there. And then link clicks, how many people are clicking? What is your cost per link click? Uh, anything under a dollar here is really good. And then click through rate. So these, this is the percentage of people who are actually clicking on the ad. So if it passes through a hundred people, you know, two or three people are going to click on that ad. Um, usually, anything you know in a two, two to four percent range is really good. If you're doing a listing, I would say you're wanting five percent or greater. Uh, for most other ads, um, you know, two to three percent is decent. Anything three to five percent is great. If you're doing a listing. 5% or more, I would say. Uh, so those are the numbers that I look at the most, right? Click-through rate, uh, CPM is kind of what I look at first. Frequency within a seven-day period. Uh, if it goes over 1.5 over a seven-day period, then it's probably going to tank at some point just because that's that's called ad fatigue. Too many people are seeing it too often, and so it's just going to it's going to get fatigued with that offer or the, the actual ad that you're putting out, they're just not gonna be interested in anymore because they've seen it and they've passed through it too many times. Um, so those are the numbers that we're looking at there, right? So if you're if any of those kind of look off, um, you'll probably wanna reevaluate. At the end of the day, cost per lead is kind of king, right? So if all of these numbers look horrible, but your cost per lead is under $5 or it's at a really good number that you like, just keep it there, right? Like keep it going as, as long as it's going to have a good cost per lead. Um, I worked with a dog kennel one time and 
uh, our cost per lead was like two dollars and fifty cents but all of our other numbers looked out of whack right our rele relevancy score was at a five our cpm was like at forty dollars our cost per click was at two dollars it was just kind of crazy so that's kind of what reporting and optimization helps you with right and if a campaign doesn't really do all that well what you want to do is optimize it so you want to change the image change the headline change the copy um, those are kind of things that you can do to optimize it and then have it run for a specific period of time as well so guys that is reporting and optimization for facebook advertisements um, if you guys want to watch previous videos i'll link those below uh, but I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.